hi? Hope so, you all are safe and healthy. Welcome back to our own kids channel fun fact with more interesting and amazing video to educate our kids with entertainment. When we want to teach something our kids if you can try to teach through stories, then they can learn very easily and clearly. Let's then go to start the video 1. The Little Pico. The Chinky was able to save one of her eggs from the big trebles, because her all eggs were eaten for breakfast. The poor Chinky took her egg and sat in a corner. After 22 days of long labor, the little baby of Chinky broke the eggshell and came out. The Chinky was very happy and excited. The baby of Chinky, Pico was very playful and wicked. When the Chinky started going out from the house to bite the grain, she advised the Pico not to leave their home. When the mother of Pico went out, Pico started inspecting the house at the every site. Then, Pico saw a rat spill in front of him. The rat had just turned around and came back. When he saw the Pico, he became greedy, and said in his heart, Oh, such a lovely chicken? He lost his mind and began to think, I wish, combined with soft and silky, I can make my bed and sleep peacefully. He said to the Pico, Dear chicks, will you friendship with me? Yes, yes, the Pico said and asked in surprise, Will you make me your friend? The Pico was very happy and excited with his new friend. Why not? The rat replied quickly and said, I'll take you on a world tour, take you to the mistress's kitchen, and feed you good food. Really? The Pico glowed. And the rat's smooth shell came into words. The rat began to think of a way to cut his hair. The Pico said, Why not? If it's a friendship, I'll take care of it. After saying this, the Pico started crawling into the rat's burrow, but where could he go in that tiny hole? His neck got stuck in it. The rat immediately started cutting its soft and silky wings. The Pico said, My friend, I'm in a lot of pain and I'm feeling suffocated so I can't breathe. Wait a minute, my dear friend. I am enlarging the hole in the burrow, said the rat cleverly. Pulled out even that rats killed the Pico and combined their all soft and silky wings. When Chinky returned her house she was very sad, because she cannot saw her little Pinko. She lost his Pico. Dear children, read this incident carefully and see that moral of the story. Elders' advice is beneficence for our life. So, respect your elders and their advice, and make your life happy and safe. 2. Monkeys and their intelligence. Once upon a time. A poor man used to make a living by selling hats. One day, he was very tired. He lay down to rest in the shade of a tree and fell asleep. Next to it was a bag full of hats. When Isakar got up, he saw that the bag full of hats was missing. Suddenly he saw the monkeys sitting on the tree where the monkeys were playing with his hats. Oh the hat seller was very depressed, in this critical situation he scratched his head. But he was surprised to see that all the monkeys were scratching their heads while imitating him. He did one or two movements, and the monkeys kept copying his every move. Suddenly an idea came to his mind. He took off his hat and threw it on the ground. All the monkeys on the tree imitated him, took off their hats and threw them on the ground. In this way, the owner of the hats collected his hats. He put them back in the bag and made his way back. After long time duration, one of the grandsons of the poor seller, who sold the same hats, also became a hat seller. He had heard the story of monkeys from his grandfather John. One day he put his hats in a bag to test the monkeys, and at noon he lay down to rest under a tree. Shortly after his expectation, the monkeys picked up his bag he scratched his head according to his grandfather. When he started, the monkeys also imitated him, but after doing some other movements, he threw his hat on the ground, but the monkeys did not throw their hats. He just then he was thinking that why the monkeys are not throwing hats back, suddenly a monkey came down from the tree, picked up the hat lying on the ground, then he received the slap from the hat seller and said, you fool, you think that it was only your grandfather who told you the story, our grandfather. We were also told not to be fooled by any hat seller in the future, so we monkeys in your imitation, refuse to throw our hats off their heads. Everyone thinks that only is wise and others are fools. Today everyone is receiving his work with interest. Moral of the story. Time not same at the every time, so improve yourself, our abilities and get success. 3. Ahmed's blindness. How many times have you been barred from using too much this mobile and computer? He didn't even get a chance to hide his mobile phone because it had already fallen into the hands of his father. Is it father? It is because of the use of mobile phones and computers that you have adorned your eyes with such thick glasses at such a young age, yet you are not leaving them behind. At his father's rebuke, Harris bowed his head, his eyes adorned with thick frame glasses. 
The fact is that Glasses to Ahmed was made to play games and watch cartoons on mobile and computer frequently. In the beginning, when he started using mobile and computer too much, his parents treated him with love, but when he didn't understand then his parents scolding and beating. Explained a lot but it didn't have any effect, but the harmful rays of computer and mobile started showing their effect. At first, when he noticed that the teacher's writing on the board and the writing of the books began to fade, he did not pay much attention to it, but when this problem was accompanied by pain in his eyes and severe headache and sometimes watery eyes. If he does, he will feel threatened. Fearing reprimands and beatings from his parents, he kept quiet and tried to stay away from computers and mobiles, but when his head began to ache. Fearful of his possible rebuke, he cried and told his mother about his condition, which earned him the title of Spring to Ahmed, along with a severe rebuke and the gift of a thick frame spring. After wearing glasses, when he was satisfied with his eyesight, reading, writing and headaches, he went back to his old ways. Apart from mobile and computer, Ahmed also had a passion for cricket. These holidays in the neighborhood had a competition program, for which all those players were so excited. Ahmed went to watch cricket in the ground, but unfortunately due to his stumbling, his glasses fell down and broke. He was shocked to see the broken glasses on the ground, but since nothing could happen now, he saw everything was blurred around him. Whatever the reason, he realized that now his weak eyesight could not withstand the sun and bright lights without glasses. Seeing the sun shining all over the ground, Ahmed held his dizzy head helplessly. Realizing his possible failure in the world revolving around him, Ahmed was now realizing that the excessive use of mobiles and computers has made him half blind. He has made a big mistake in himself through his own foolishness. Now he regrets when the birds have eaten the field. Moral of the story. Too much use of computers and mobiles are very dangerous to your eyes.